forget about the success. This is the issue. We're all addicted to success and to money and stuff. And it's so stupid to make your, your focus money when you first begin and because it makes you weak when you chase the money, when you chase the success. The issue is every business model will get you that. Every business model. Now, type one, if you have the belief in yourself that if you put in eight to 10 hours a day, you could relatively achieve success in pretty much most business models, most sports, right? You, most of us here are going to have growth mindsets and it's absolutely the truth. If you put in 10 hours of practice and, and you know, you got a teacher and stuff, most of them, most business models and all of the business models you can think of would, what would they get you? Money, success, status, online, online income, all of them, right? It's all the same. So like, why are you comparing things which are the same? It's like desiring the success doesn't make you special. It makes you mediocre. This is all that we're thinking of as young men is, is this, this weakness for just the external results. But the reason why you stay stuck in this, this zone is because the rewards of all of these business models are the same. So no wonder that you've got like uh, paralysis by analysis because the rewards are money, success, online income. They're all the same. And you're looking at the only the rewards and thinking, oh man, which one should I do? And so when you hop onto the new business model and you realize, oh damn, it's actually kind of hard. It's not as easy as that YouTuber made it out to be. Then you give up and then you move over. Then you move over, then you move over, then you move over on the pursuit of money. And it's like, okay, here you are, Mr. Following the market, saying that money is more important than purpose. It's like you're making less money than the guy who's literally just there focusing on his purpose. I don't think anyone makes money this way jumping around. Of course not. This shiny object syndrome. So what do you do? You start with purpose. You start with passion. And so what I did at 22 years old when I realized this, finally, uh, from reading the book, the Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. He says to chase the problems that you want to solve in life. That's a good question to write down and to ask, uh, ask yourself when you've got time. What are the problems that you want to solve? What are the negatives that you want to experience? Because it's time that you, like, no offense, but it's time that like we grow up and we realize that business isn't going to be a walk in the park all the time. So what negatives of a business do you want to experience? Do you want to experience the negatives of this business here of like, you know, selling a shit product? Do you want to experience the negatives of here of sending out a hundred DMs every day in your Twitter, your Instagram account getting blocked? Do you want to experience this one here where you need to make Facebook ads, but your account gets deleted? How about this one here for YouTube where you've got to make the video, but then you get like angry negative comments. Another YouTube where people show up to your house. What negatives do you want to experience? Have you ever asked yourself that negative kind of question? Because this is how you find out who you really are. Because we can all say, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd like some money, bro. Yeah. What good is that when you're just thinking about the rewards? When I asked myself that question, I realized that the negatives I wanted to experience with that of YouTube. I realized that the problems with having like a video editing software or, uh, you know, crashing or something, or I realized the problems of people commenting and saying something angry about me. I realized that they're actually the problems that I'd like to go through compared to, you know, selling some shit product drop shipping or sending out a hundred DMs a day in agencies. I, th I thought to myself, it's these problems. It's people knowing me and like saying bad shit about me and it hurting my ego. They're the problems that I wanted to solve. So what I'd ask you is if you make a, if you had unlimited money, if you literally just never needed money again, what would you spend your time doing? What is the hours that you would want to put into something? Cause you're, you know, okay. You'd travel. You'd party, you'd do all these things, but after a while, it's like you'd literally want to wake up and do something that felt productive, that helped other people. What task would you do? Would it be to, it's usually a lot more wholesome, like less profitable ones now. Now it's about music. Now it's about sports. Now it's about contribution to your family. Now it's about being there physically next to someone and like cleaning up your uh, local field or something. You'll experience happiness. 
when your answer to that question is what you're doing now. Your life depends on you merging that, those two circles together. What I would do when I had unlimited money and what I'm doing now. The closer them two can overlap, the more free you are. And it's a lot cheaper and easier than you think. Often, if you've got excuses building up in your mind, it's often just fear.